Hi, I'm Alex, and in this video, we're going to take a look at using Thistle to remotely update a Raspberry Pi. Thistle is a security-focused platform that makes it easy to provide over-the-air updates to your IoT and embedded devices. And today, we're going to look at a simple example by setting up a single Raspberry Pi, although Thistle can also be used to provide updates to large fleets of devices and supports other architectures as well. To follow along with this demonstration, all you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi 4, a micro SD card with at least 4 gigabytes of space, a monitor, keyboard, and other peripherals to interface with your Pi, and of course a computer which we're going to use to administer the remote update. But before we dive into all of that, we're going to start by first setting up the Raspberry Pi with a test operating system. To do this, you can head over to docs.thizzle.tech and navigate over to the Raspberry Pi demo, where you'll find a download link for this full disk image. To flash this to the micro SD card, I'd recommend using the official flasher tool which you can download at raspberrypi.org software. Once everything finishes downloading, you can plug your micro SD card into your computer, select your disk file and the card that you plugged in, and just give it some time to flash. Once this process finishes, you can plug your SD card into your Raspberry Pi and watch it boot up into the Thistle disk image. Now, since the Raspberry Pi needs an internet connection to perform the update, connecting it via Ethernet is the most straightforward way to get it online. But if you want to use Wi-Fi, you can use the built-in NMCLI and UDHCPC command line tools documented here. So now that we flashed the Raspberry Pi, we're going to move on and talk about how Thistle can be used to provision an over-the-air update. And for this step, we're checking out the Thistle Release Helper, or TRH for short, which is a command line tool that allows us to package and release updates to the cloud. You can download the Thistle Release Helper directly from the documentation page at docs.thistle.tech download. And for this demonstration, I'm using Linux on an x86 architecture for my personal computer, so I'm going to make sure to grab the corresponding TRH binary. Once it finishes downloading, I can pop open a Linux terminal and navigate over to my downloads folder, then use the chmod command to make sure that the trh program is executable. And this last step is optional, but what I'm going to do here is move this file over to my binaries at slash user slash bin and rename it so that way I can easily execute the command trh instead of having to open my downloads folder every time. So with the release helper set up, you can navigate back over to the documentation page and grab the updated disk image that we're going to be using to test over the air updates on the Raspberry Pi in just a second. So now the next step is to package this new Raspberry Pi disk image and push an update with the Thistle release helper. But before we can do that, we first need to set up a new project on the Thistle dashboard interface. So that way the release helper knows where to actually push these updates and the Raspberry Pi also has a backend to receive them. For this step, you just need to make sure that you have an account set up with Thistle and can access the dashboard interface from a web browser. After signing in, you're going to create a new project, which for me I'm going to title Raspberry Pi Setup. Then navigate over to Settings, click on the Access button, and here you'll find a Project Access Token. We're going to copy this to use with the Thistle Release Helper, so that way it can authenticate and securely upload our new releases to the Thistle backend. So now what I'm going to do is pop open a Linux terminal and run export thistle token equals dollar sign cat and paste my access token with control shift V, then kill the input with control D. And all this does is put our access token in a place that the Thistle Release Helper can easily find without revealing it directly in our bash history if someone were to access it. With our token configured, I'm going to quickly create and move into a new folder called Thistle, and we can initialize our project by running trh init p equals slash boot, and we'll talk about what that parameter does in just a second. And you should also make sure to protect this private key that Minisign generates based off the password that you input to prevent malicious actors from tampering with your updates. But in the event that you lose this key, you can check out the link below to see how to generate a new key pair. But this basically creates a template configuration file that we can distribute to our client devices, and also a manifest file that contains metadata about software and disk image updates. So let's briefly talk about how the Thistle update mechanism works before touching either of these files. So Thistle integrates an AB boot process that acts as a sort of fallback mechanism when updating files or entire systems over the air. So that way, if something goes wrong in the update process, it's pretty easy to revert to an earlier image or stage. Now, the way this mechanism is integrated is by simply breaking the drive into A and B partitions, and the configuration file lets us tell Thistle where to look for them while updating. Another important part of this mechanism is having a separate boot partition where operating system files and other persistent information is stored. So when we use the dash p parameter when initializing our files with trh, this just tells the release helper where to look for that persistent data. 
So now I'm going to use nano to edit the config.json file and pass it the location of those a slash b partitions, which I can just copy directly from the documentation. And here you'll also notice some other parameters like the persistent partition and also this unique device enrollment token and name for the Raspberry Pi, which I'm not going to touch since we're only setting up a single device today. So finally, I can just save this configuration file with Control O, Control X, and we'll push this to the Pi in a second. But before we do that, let's package and release that updated disk image. So I'm gonna quickly move the updated file system I downloaded earlier into my current folder. And after this, all I have to do is run trh prepare t equals four dot root fs. And here you can see that the manifest file, which contains metadata about this release automatically gets updated. After that, I can just run trh release and our new file system gets pushed to the cloud. So finally, we're gonna register the Raspberry Pi with Thistle's backend so it knows where to look for the latest updates. And to do this, we're gonna use a command line tool called the Thistle Update Client, or TUC. So first, let's copy over that unique configuration file to the Raspberry Pi. And here I'm using the secure copy protocol to transfer config.json to my Raspberry Pi's home directory over my local network. Once it finishes transferring, I can switch back over to the Pi and use the cat command to confirm that the file was successfully transferred. And then I can also use mount to display the current root partition that the Pi is using, which you can see is partition two, or the A partition. Now, our updated disk image should automatically switch over to use the B partition, which is partition three. So after we perform an update, we're gonna run this command again to see if that's changed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and copy the configuration file to the boot directory so it's backed up before we run the update. And after that, I can run tuc-c for configuration slash boot slash config.json, which will let me register my Raspberry Pi with Thistle's backend while simultaneously performing a manual update. So while it reboots, I'm gonna check out the web interface where you can see that we've successfully enrolled the Raspberry Pi and also pushed our first release. In a future videos, we'll take a deeper look at using the dashboard for managing multiple client devices and rolling out automatic updates. Now switching back over to the Pi, I'm gonna log in real quick. And if I run the mount command again, you can see that it successfully boots into our new disk image on partition three. So we just successfully enrolled the Raspberry Pi with Thistle and also performed a manual update using the Thistle update client. Now the Raspberry Pi should be set up to pull for updates automatically. And if you wanna learn more about how that works, you can check out the link below. So it was pretty easy getting set up with Thistle, and in this video, we took a look at using the Thistle release helper for packaging new software updates. We used the update client for manually upgrading our Raspberry Pi, and we also checked out the web interface for monitoring device access and new software releases. In future videos, we'll explore some cool projects and other use cases for Thistle, but in the meantime, if you have any other tutorial suggestions or questions, you can feel free to reach out to us on Twitter at ThistleSec or ping our Discord for additional support. I'm Alex Lind, and thank you for checking out Thistle Technologies.